Hi, I'm Tommy Bailey here reporting for the Northerner outside of Landrum Hall, where inside the radio station WNKU-FM is located. Now, the sale of that radio station was announced yesterday to a religious broadcasting corporation known as Bible Broadcasting. I spoke with some students on campus about their opinions of the sale and how they reacted to it. Here's what they had to say. I'm honestly pretty sad about it since it's going to a religious station. It's a go-to station that I like to listen to with upcoming artists from Cincinnati. And I feel like we'll be losing that if it goes to a religious station. I think it was a bad idea to sell WNKU. Uh, I have them on my preset. I listen to them uh, pretty much every day. They're only news uh, radio station that uh, plays uh, local artists, and I really appreciate that. And I think uh, Cincinnati is losing a pretty big asset with uh, the selling of that. Uh, my opinion on it, since it is the only radio station on campus, I guess, we have nothing to listen to. So, And then like when you go to the L.A. building, they don't play the music no more as you walk. So I guess we do need something to represent NKU. I personally feel like a public school shouldn't have sold their, ra uh, their radio to a very religious company even though that it did increase a lot of sales, like they got almost $2 million from it. Yeah, that's great, but that's basically taking a public forum for the school's outlet. Well, I'm not surprised that it happened because college-owned radio stations are actually a rarity these days. The frequency spectrum is limited already, and when a college can have a chance to make $2 million, if you dangle that in front of them, they will take it. And it seems to me that it is on one side, I understand the business decision, but on the other hand, I wish that they would think more about the long-term education prospects for the students because actual student access to on-the-air opportunities are getting more narrow these days because radio is even getting harder to get into now than it used to be. So the chance for students to actually be on the air live instead of in an academic environment, those are shrinking, and I think that's a shame.